Hey everybody, how's it going? Like Butter here, and I'm here to bring you a tutorial video uh, with a pretty common problem that I've seen with the Elgato and the Game Capture HD software that comes with it. Basically, what I'm going to be showing you guys is a quick fix on what helped me get rid of the strange colors and the interference patterns that you see when, you, when you're when uh, you recording gameplay. Um, I'm going to put up a quick example right now on the screen so you guys can see that it kind of like got weird in one of my last videos. And I've been noticing it happening uh, a little more often than usual and I've never had these issues before. So I did a little bit of research and I noticed that it wasn't happening when I was live streaming. It was only happening when I was recording. So I knew it had something to do with my setting. Things, um, on the program of course it being game capture HD so I did some research on uh, the internet and I found this article right here talking about TV compatibility I messed around with it and it fixed my problem completely so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that um, so as you can see we're in the game capture HD software right now what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit this little wrench and it looks like a hammer in the corner of the Elgato Game Capture HD 720p. Uh, you're gonna click this, right, and you're gonna have all these tabs. I think it's probably gonna start on capture. I record in 720 because that's what my screen is, and I don't want to bump it up to 1080 because it'll look fuzzy. So go over to this advanced setting, and you're gonna see this this uh, bar that you can drag. It's called TV compatibility. Now this was on two. This is the default setting on two. Now, I looked it up and it says to only adjust this if you're having problems with your Elgato fading to black or having the interference problems that you saw a little bit earlier. So what I did is I basically just jacked this thing up to 12 and uh, that's about it. And I haven't had a problem since. I think what it is is uh, people with slower computers, I think it uses more processing power to put your compatibility up. I'm not 100% sure on that. But I'm assuming they said, you know, most likely you're not going to have issues. But ever since I uh, put it up to 12, I haven't had a single problem. So that should fix your issue. Uh, if you're having even more problems, you can just play with this and record for like you know 15 20 minutes and see if it fixes your problem because i know it fixed it for me i mean as you can see when you put it on zero it just did some weird shit where it like made my screen blank or no maybe that was just because it was going idle anyways yep put that up to 12 or 10 or whatever you like it as as long as it's higher than two because yeah when it was on two it was not working out very good for me so ever since then i've never had an issue of course it still goes black when you turn the elgato on i don't think there's really any way around that um but i haven't had the interference issues like i did before and even though they were pretty slight i probably could have just bumped it up to like five and been fine but since i have a pretty decent computer i just put it up to 12 and yeah I haven't had an issue since so if you enjoyed this video and you want to subscribe to my channel I'll be doing more tutorial videos as I go along whenever I encounter a problem and fix that problem I like to make a video uh, for you guys so that there's something to go off of I didn't I couldn't find a single tutorial on how to fix this and I only saw like one other video of someone having the, these issues but it seems like a lot of people run into this problem when they're using the Elgato so that's just a quick fix for you guys uh, make sure to drop the video a like if it helped you out, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Peace out, everybody.